Mr. Leontes, I, I presume. Please, do you come in? Yeah, uh, just close the door behind you. It's my brother, he helped me find you on the internet. Oh, no. Would you like some tea? Or, or, or coffee? It's just rainforest alliance, I'm afraid. Nothing fair trade in the co-op at the moment. Yeah, I really need to get some. Next time I go, there's some somewhere else. So, here we are. So, it's real then. So, it's real then. My fee. What? This was meant to be covered in my introduction. My fee, up front, now. I'm sorry. That seems very unreasonable to me. I mean, I, I don't well. know you. I don't know what you... <laughs> in that case, I wish you all the best with your problem. Are you going to do something, Jesse? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me! Out! Now! Big crack problem, is there, in Morningside? Lots of yummy mummies dealing on the street corners. Oh, I have spent 20 years in the worst Council schemes in Scotland, Mr. Leontes, have seen things you wouldn't believe. Really interesting. This isn't crack, Miss Munro. It's considerably rarer and more expensive than that. And after it's been sourced from Greenland, from an area which for some reason does not appear on Google Maps, I find it easiest to use this street paraphernalia to take it. Memory Palace? No. Ego Fortress. I need to see your cellar. I, I, I don't have a cellar. Stop lying. Oh, how dare you? I'm not lying. If you do not cease lying, Ms. Munro, I will be forced to leave you to the tender mercies of your house guest. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know why I said that. We, uh, Good. I do have a cellar. I'll get the keys. It's just such a state down there. They threw it, tidy it out, donate things to charity. It's almost a boogie. Sorry about all the clutter. Half of us here when I bought the house. I just really should go through it, donate mm. it. Poor parents. Use all the help they can get.
Ego Fortress. A stronghold built by the imagination to protect the mind from what is happening to it in the real world. In prison, men are sometimes told to go somewhere in their mind. And one of these is where they go. Hmm. A very expensive house. It costs what? Three hundred thousand? Look, there's no prison here. Around here. Social work. A noble job. Very poorly paid. But access. Good access. <laughs> you can make yourself out to be quite the perfect parent. <laughs> those children to foster. You promised to care for them. You cashed the checks and then you locked them down here. And then what? Did they starve? Of course we didn't starve! You have no idea what I keep them from or what would have happened to them. It's a mercy, Mr. Leontes, a bloody mercy! Until they died. It wasn't my fault! Gary got something. Whooping cough. I cared for him, I really tried. But his lungs filled up. It didn't work. And then the others. Well, the others knew and they had to go. Just like you. And what will you do about your problem then? You're going to help me. Or I'm going to spill your guts all over this floor. You're going to help me get rid of this ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're so tough? Your wards, are, your wards are dead and gone. There is no ghost. Of course there is. This is what's haunting me. That's what's in the bowl. They, they, they built their fortress. They took a kind, tiny comfort from a, a tormenting an, an image of you. And then they died. Your problem is their lodger. That is bullshit. <laughs> the, the Irish would call it a bargess. People like me would simply call it a hound. It moved into your children's fortress and then helped them to torture your image. They're very good at that. And now their fortress is crumbling and it blames you. So you can kill me now, and then the Barghest will hunt you, and torment you, and then finally kill you. Or, I can help you with your problem, and then I walk free. You'd never protect someone who did, who did this. If you're incarcerated, Miss Monroe, the Hound will kill you immediately and then go on to kill others. I've seen one go through a hundred men, women and children. But you and I, Miss Monroe, can stop this from happening again. And then you'll turn me in. No, you don't understand. You need to remain and be the fortress's new maintainer. So you want me to take their place and sit here and punish myself? Yes, that is exactly what I want. I want you to take up the fortress that your, ch your children built and care for it as if it were your very own. It's, it's coming back. It's coming back. Choose. Choose. How long do I have to care for it? Three or four hours a day. No, no, I mean, how long? How long? Forever. Say their names. <laughs> Remember them. Lucy, here is Gary, 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 Lucy, here is
I'm not an exorcist or priest, whatever you think I am. I'd come here a decade ago. I would have cracked your skull, killed your children and drawn a circle with your blood. I would have bound the hound into that circle and then used it in the service of something unspeakable. Well, now I try to help people. And if that can happen to me, perhaps it can happen to you.